kinda sucks you don't get to see anyone you've ever loved again. It's all just gone. At least they don't have to see your ugly ass. <laughs> Subscribe and leave a comment to see your face in the next video. What is considered lazy, but is really useful and practical? Sleeping as much as your body needs. Yes thank you. People underestimate how much sleeping helps you. My father fell and has been in a physical therapy home and he has been sleeping a lot. He's never been more alive and talkative. Another sleepless night, he sighed and groaned with funny woe. I think too much, he said with pride. It's just the worst, you know. A second spoke with vain delight. I rarely slumber through. I only find an hour a night, or mostly maybe two. A third had heard the words ahead. Absurd. He crossly cried. I never sleep at all, he said, and swiftly, smugly, died. <laughs> Not going to work when ill. Never understood the whole I don't ever take days off, even if I'm violently sick. Thanks pal, you just infected the rest of your cowokers. Taking long breaks during an intense studying session. My brain at least will start not remembering things after a few consecutive hours of studying. Same applies for work, making a report or presentation that takes all day to write. You bet I'm taking a coffee and reddit break every couple of hours. Drinking coffee and surfing reddit all day. You bet I back quote am taking a report or presentation break every couple of hours. <laughs> Working exactly the hours you agreed on. Every corporate job I ever had I would ask the expected hours at the interview, be told 9 to 5, and then the first day they would say oops did I say that, it's really 8 to 6. Like cool my school starts at 6 this is, why I freaking asked. So happy to be self employed now. I work crazy hours, but at least I don't feel taken advantage of. <laughs> Taking the time to lay down and just think for a bit. If you make time, just to do nothing but reflect, then you'll be surprised how often your subconscious will come up with something to help with whatever you're worrying about. The classic is a problem in software development. Don't stay late to fix it. The number of times I've spent hours trying to do something, only to fix them within 5 minutes of coming in the next day. Former attorney. We used to have a judge in Detroit, Rabbits, many years ago, now and then. Some issue would come up in a hearing, and he would lean back in his chair on the bench, and say let me reflect. He'd lean way back, sometimes close his eyes, and think. After a minute or so, with everyone in the courtroom sitting in silence, he'd lean back down and say, okay, I'm ready to rule. I never saw another judge ever do that, but I thought it made a lot of sense. <laughs> Waiting to see if a problem works itself out, before trying to implement a convoluted solution. Sometimes the correct answer to a problem is do nothing. And sometimes the correct answer let's wait and see if we can understand the problem better. But no, it's always a competition of the idiots who think the first one to suggest action is the best. <laughs> Taking all your vacation. You will not get any commendation for not using it, and if your boss gets on your case about taking the vacation that the company offers you, like my old boss did, then look for a new job. Wow, is this a thing? In Norway it's both illegal for an employer to deny the full vacation and illegal for an employee to not take the full vacation. Some of it can be moved to next year, but the full 5 weeks shall be taken. Real kicker of this? It's the employer who is punishable for both offenses. 5 weeks. Sometimes having lazy weekends, when you do nothing useful, I have a plaque that says sometimes it's okay if the only thing you did today was breathe. Sitting when you're stocking a floor level shelf. My target bosses would have me kneel to look professional, which was both slower and more painful and this was before the store even opened. Fuck retail and target in particular. Fuck people who think sitting isn't professional. We need to kill that immediately. I stand on my feet all fucking day. I can't even sit down to stock a damn shelf. And why can't cashiers fucking sit? I hate Target too. Worked there for 3 months. Never fucking going back. Can I interest you in our edcard? Save 5% on every purchase. If I don't get one, I get yelled at by my bosses after every fucking shift. Have a good day. <laughs> Using online grocery pickup services. I work at a store that offers the service, where we do your shopping for you then all you have to do, is just pull up to the curb, and we load it in your car. And every now, and then I'll have a customer come up to me, while I'm shopping to curse at me, and tell me how lazy people are for making us do their shopping for them. 
but it is a super useful service for people that have tight time schedules or have movement disabilities. Anything to have a superiority complex I guess. I have my groceries delivered from the store, disabled and can't drive, and it has raised my quality of life enormously. I'm sorry idiots give you grief, but you're making a huge difference. <laughs> Not washing your clothes after the first wear. Unless, of course, it's dirty or smelly. But, with care given, most clothing can be worn a couple times before it's dirty. Your clothes will last longer, and you use less detergent. T-shirt slash underwear, wash every time, sweat and other stuff. Shorts slash pants slash jacket slash sweatshirt slash second shirt over a t-shirt, agree, I don't wash them, unless I get them dirty, or it's been a long time. <laughs> Asking a shop attendant to help, if you can't find something. Unless they're extremely new, chances are they know the store really well, and can point you in the right direction. It takes maybe 30 seconds, and you'll find what you're looking for. Nobody will judge you for doing it. Are you listening, dad? Sometimes you distract us from the boring tedium of stocking shelves, or hanging price tags too. Yes. Price tags. Think about it for a second. Every single tag is hand placed on every single shelf. I love when someone asks me where something is. It gives me a chance to say something other than the cashier spiel. That method of shoveling snow, where you just walk with a shovel in front of you, and push it off the driveway, as opposed to actually shoveling, like you're digging a ditch. It's a nice way, to not die of a heart attack, or get needless backache. That method of shoveling snow, where you just walk with a shovel in front of you, and push it off the driveway, as opposed to actually shoveling, like you're digging a ditch. It's a nice way, to not die of a heart attack, or get needless backache. Giving money as a birthday present. If you're a kid receiving money as a present, sure that's cool. But in an adult adult reciprocal gift giving situation, you'd just end up exchanging money twice a year. Pointless. <laughs> Being bored and embracing it. Our body and mind both need rest time. If we refuse to give them some, constantly engaging into sports slash gym, or doing everything something challenging or interesting or working, we will burn out. <laughs> Those long armed grabber tools. Getting the remote, when it falls behind the couch, or getting something from a tool shelf, is now super easy, but having one makes people think you're lazy, since they're associated with people who don't want to get up. I will never have to bend over again for the rest of my life. <laughs> Texting instead of calling. It's very easy to remember details of a conversation incorrectly, especially when you're focused on sounding a certain way, and responding quickly to avoid awkward silences. Texting allows you to review what you talked about, and choose the wording of your response. <laughs> Hiring a maid service. I'd rather not spend my weekend cleaning. Time is more of a value than the cost of a maid service. I once told my mother that when I'm getting a new apartment, I'm paying for someone to clean the one I'm moving out of. My mother was shocked at this wasteful and bored GI's display of opulence. Not going to tell her that I'm seriously considering paying for weekly slash be weekly housekeeping. <laughs> Half-assing something. Obviously you generally don't want to do that, and there are some situations where you really don't want to do that. But if it's the only way for you to get something done, then that's better than not doing it at all. Need to clean your messy room, but it's such an overwhelming task that you keep putting it off. Just put away one or two things a day, and it may take longer, but it'll get done. Couldn't finish your homework on time. If you'll still get half credit, turn it in anyway. Better than no credit. Too depressed slash lacking in energy to make a sandwich? It's better to eat the individual components. A slice of bread, a slice of cheese, etc. Just grab it out of the package, and put it in your mouth, than to not eat at all. Also, a lot of infomercial products such as snuggies, motorized spoons, sticks you put toilet paper on to wipe yourself with, etc are ridiculed as being for lazy assholes, but are in fact designed for people with disabilities. <laughs> the 80 over 20 solution when it's coding. Further, in operations, not solving every problem, but instead always automating away whatever's causing you the current most oil, but only when soil is less than 50% of your work time, allows you to introduce half-baked solutions, see if developers adopt the tool slash technology, and then write solutions against use cases instead of against what you imagine. Get to avoid writing a ton of code this way. 
feels very much like a groundskeeper at a new college campus not installing sidewalks, and then just installing sidewalks, wherever the people path after the first year.